I hope you watched Azimandias with someone you loved. First of all, because I watched it alone Mrs. Toondon is not a Breaking Bad watcher and holy but Jesus in a fire truck, that was a rough ride to take solo. If the end of last week's episode was a thousand bullet fusillade, this one was like feeling every one of those bullets hit. It was relentless, intense, excruciating and amazing. If each remaining episode intensifies this much more than the last, I am going to burst into flames. But I also say that because, while Breaking Bad may be about drugs and crime and morality and all that good, tragic downfall stuff, at heart it's about family, what you do for them, what they do to you, and how you fail them. The beginning of Azimandias, read the Shelley poem if you want to know why a hubristic ruin in the desert is relevant, takes us back to simpler times when Skyler was just an aspiring writer packing up a crying clown for a $9 eBay profit, and Walt was just a struggling teacher, car wash worker with cancer, cooking up his first batch of methamphetamine in an RV. Back then, Walt still had to prep himself to lie on the telephone. Back then, Skyler was asking him to bring home a pizza, not preparing to carve him into slices. Walt was still doing this for his wife and kids. He believed he was going to die, but there were still possibilities. It's a little over a year ago. It feels like another time, another planet. Vince Gilligan has famously said that Breaking Bad is the story of how Mr. Chips becomes Scarface. And it's true, and that's the exciting, attention-getting way of putting it. But it is equally, and heartbreakingly, the story of the journey from will do. Love you, to you stupid bitch. How dare 